Okay, now I want to uh, create a user form, and user forms are very uh, useful if I want to hardwire in a particular set of numbers and then perform a calculation. And to see how that works, go to developer, uh, Visual Basic, and the Visual Basic editor comes up, and we insert a user form. And we have the toolkit and we use three labels. So we'll keep this fairly routine and fairly straightforward. Label one, label two, and I'm just dragging, holding, and releasing the left uh, button on the mouse. And we change the caption in each of these by coming down here on the left of the property view and changing the first one to simply A. The second one to simply B, and the third one to simply C, and we can control that in the caption or in the label box. And then we bring over three text boxes, two which will be data inputs, and the third one where we perform a calculation. And we give each of these a name as well. So the first one I'm going to call A. And this time it is the name of the text box, so A, B, and C. And then we put in two um, command buttons, and one for quit, and one to perform a calculation. And we can change the caption here as well to quit, Q-U-I-T, and we change the command button here, the caption to multiply. And then to tell quit what to do, double click, and we say unload user form one and go back to the user form uh, multiply we will just from the text box names uh, tell C what we want to be calculated so C is equal to A multiplied by B and go back to the user form and then go back to the spreadsheet and insert a function button here and we'll say record a new macro and we'll say user form one dot show and that will be used to bring up the user form we'll go back into the worksheet and we'll re-edit this button which is still possible so delete and we'll say multiply and the test to verify if the function button works, we just press multiply and we'll input numbers 5 and 3, multiply and quit. So our user form work, works extremely well.